Good evening, everyone, and welcome to this Wednesday night Bible study where we'll be studying Isaiah chapter 23, beginning at verse 4. And uh, yeah, I just put up there to see speaks because, you know, God's in control. And he understands more language than we could ever begin to understand. We understand certain, but anyway, uh, that's the title that I chose. Um, and we thank God. For, uh, to be able to uh, bring this lesson to you. Thankful uh, uh, to be able to be here. Amen. I want to uh, thank God for those who continue to give to the cause of Christ and the furtherance of the gospel message throughout the city, county, nation, and world. Through I have to offer you sacrificial giving. We certainly thank God for you and pray for you. And uh, as we pray, we want to keep our sick and shut in in your prayers. Amen. Keep them uh, on the list. Pray for uh, Pastor Cornelius Brace and the Holy Ground Christian Ministry. Continue to pray for them and their new beginning. Uh, also, continue to pray for Sister Pam Bray for direction and guidance. Amen. Mm -hmm. for Sister Lorraine Chavez and family for salvation, protection, and blessing. Brother Francis Fernandez for healing from leg surgery. And uh, Lee Sparks for salvation and physical healing. Uh, pray just for a couple people for Flora and uh, no, not Flora, Ilana and John. Ilana's uh, has to go through some surgeries. Uh, pray for Lori, who's uh, ready to have a child, a daughter. Uh, amen. Um, Pray for uh, Catherine, who had a, uh, much of my neighbor, she had a small fender bender. I don't know if she ever made it to her destination, but keep her in prayer. Also keep our staff here, Brother Jim Kennedy and his family. Keep them in prayer, Sister Maria Dwyer and her family in prayer. This is Diane uh, Edwards, who Certainly uh, continues to do ministry work around, in, around, and through and outside the church. Keep her and her family in prayer. Um, our minister, Reverend Michael Francis, and his family keep in prayer. Reverend Kenny Park in prayer. Continue to pray for Brother Jerome Sims. Amen. Just send up prayers for him. Amen. As we work through some things we got to work through. Uh, but God is always in control. Mm -hmm. And our boards, our committees, our trustee board, our uh, committees that, uh, and usher boards and other boards that are here, that are functioning, keeping the church going. And we certainly want to keep all those and others of deacon. The deaconesses, keep them in prayer. Amen. Because we all stand in the need of prayer and know that they are. Um, always ready to receive our prayers. We pray for all the teachers and the church family as a whole. Keep me in your prayers. Uh, uplift me in directions and blessings, ways out of no way. And that God uh, keeps me on the forefront of doing his will, certainly. So those are our prayer requests. Uh, you can find them online. You can find them uh, in our bulletins, which are online also. Uh, some of the names you won't be able to find on there. Some of the new ones we add to it, but certainly we want to continue to be in prayer. We're a praying church. 
Amen. We always say that family that prays together stays together. And so we are praying together with, around, and for you. Um, we're going to have a scripture before we begin our lesson. We're going to have a scripture by Brother Jim Kennedy in prayer by our guest visitor, Sister Diane Edwards. I'm going to read from Psalms 91. Mm. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the old I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snares of the power and from the noise of the pestilence. Mm. He shall cover thee with His feathers, and under His wings shall thou trust. His truth is, shall be thy shield and buckle. Thou should not be afraid of the terror by night, uh, nor the arrows that fly by day, nor the pestilence that walk in darkness, nor the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand should fall uh, at thy side, and ten thousand at the right hand, but, but it uh, shall not come nigh thee. Only with thy eyes shall thou behold and see the rewards of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation, and there should no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thee, that nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways, that they should bear thee up. Uh, in their hands, least thou dash thy foot against thy stone, that thou shalt tread on the lion and the adder, and the young lion and the dragon, and shall thou trample on their feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. And he shall call upon me, and I will answer him. And I will be with him in trouble, and I will deliver him and honor him with a, a long life and with a sad end, and I will satisfy him and true him my salvation. And blessed be to the hearing and reading of Psalm 91. Heavenly Father, we just come to you tonight, Lord, with thanksgiving and praise, Father. You say we're two or three are gathered in your name, you in the midst, Lord Jesus. Father God, I come asking for forgiveness. Anything I've said or done that's not pleasing to you, that you continue to lead and guide me and show me the way, Father God, that I may not sin against thee, Father. Lord, I'm coming to you for praises and glory, Father God. Put all those who are healing better, Lord Jesus, all those, Father God, who were in a situation where it didn't look good, but you you were the outcome. I just give you praises and glory for that, Lord. Father God, I have to touch and agree on all, all the devastation that's going on over the, around the world, Father God. Lord Jesus, you have the power, you said, Lord Jesus, and chronicles that my children who are called by my name will turn from their wicked ways and humble themselves, Lord yes. Jesus, and ask for forgiveness that you'll heal the land. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus, Lord, that's my prayer tonight, Father God. But Lord Jesus, you also say, Father God, that those who trust in the Lord, they don't have anything to worry about. And I thank you for being able to, to know that I can trust in you. Yes. That's a special prayer for our pastor and his family, Lord, for all the staff, Sister Maria and her family, Brother Jim and his family, Reverend Parker, Father God, and his family, Brother Jerome Sims, Lord Jesus, and his family, Father God, uh, Reverend, Reverend Francis, Father God, for uh, continued healing in his family in the name of Jesus. We ask a special, we ask a special hallelujah, uh, praise for uh, Pastor Gracie on his new journey that you uh, allowing him to go on, Father God, be in the midst, be with them, Lord, lead and guide him and show him the way, Father God, so he can be, uh, so he can continue, Father God, to lead thy people the right, Lord Jesus. I'm thankful, Father God, that you've given us pastors and and preachers, Lord Jesus, and reverence, Father God, that's trying to lead us on the right way, Father God, because your word says, Lord Jesus, that you are going to start in your house first, Lord. So I'm thankful, Father God, that we have a pastor who's listening to you in the name of Jesus. 
Father God, I ask for prayer for uh, Sister Elena and John, for Elena's healing, Lord Jesus, for us, uh, Lori, Father God, for the birth of her daughter, Lord Jesus, to our pastor's uh, neighbor, uh, Catherine, Lord Jesus, yes. heal in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, where healing is needed, Father God. Lord, everybody on the sick and shut in, Lord Jesus, I ask that you uh, speak to those, Father God, who have fallen away, Father God, even those who, who know you, Lord Jesus, that, you know, all we have right now is just uh, uh, holding on to your unchanging hands and your word, Father God. Heal, uh, ask for healing for Pam Bray, Lord Jesus, and continue guidance for her, Lord Jesus. Father God, heal that mended heart in the name of Jesus. Because you are her, you're her, you're her everything, Lord Jesus. I just know that I, I ask continually, Lord, that you put a smile on her face, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Yes. That's for all my family, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for watching over my household, Lord Jesus. I continue, Lord Jesus, to lift up my hands to the hills from which my help coming from. I do, Father God. I just love you. I just praise you, Lord Jesus. I can do nothing without you in the name of Jesus. Nothing, Lord. Have mercy on your world, Father God. The things that I pray and continue to pray, Father, in your mighty, mighty name, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. 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 Thank you for that scripture. Concerning the prayer. It's always good to have a little talk with Jesus. Mm -hmm. As we look at our lesson today, we see in it um, uh, the sea speaks. Let's look at this fourth verse, Isaiah 23, chapter 23, verse 4. But thou, be thou ashamed, O Zidon, for the sea hath spoken, even the strength of the sea, saying, I travail not, nor bring forth children, neither do I nourish up young men, nor bring up virgins? Mm. So, Isaiah has personified now the sea. And he said, <laughs> the sea is speaking. Now, um, I know. I have heard and seen the sea speak. <laughs> I've seen it speak calm. I've seen it speak anger. Mm -hmm. uh, to the point, <laughs> well, I didn't know if we was going to make it or not. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, <laughs> it, it, can, it can get real angry. Uh, rough. Seem to speak, see speak roughly to see going vessel. And so uh, this is the prophet is saying that the sea is speaking, even the strength of the sea, the stronghold of the sea, saying. I no longer feel anguish uh, at this time. And the reason I put this up there, Tyre and Sidon control the seas. Their vessels fill the seas and stop at, at that should be at, not a. Stop at every port. That's a seafaring people. We talked about uh, the influence and the wealth that was gained by from Tyre having the influence that it had. And we'll see further, the first, some of the further influences 
that it had. And so the C said, uh, look, I'm not, I don't feel the need for um, labor or bear children. Um, and so I have neither been in pain or given birth. Neither brought up young men nor promoted virgin for you are childless now, in other words. All them ships that were on the sea, now you got none. Mm. Uh, uh, now the sea declares she's not acquainted with the vessels of Tyre and Sidon. So that's what she said. Before I was acquainted, now. I don't know you. They can no longer be found sailing the waters of the Mediterranean. And once, uh, once they control the seas, now they can't be found sailing. Um, and we'll see later all this has come about. And when we look at Proverbs, 23, verse 4 and 5. You have to be aware. Be very aware. Um, how uh, you take how you place riches in your life. I mean, nobody wants to be broke. Amen. Nobody. Doesn't mean you have to be broke. Doesn't mean you can't have it. You just can't let them have you. Amen. So in Proverbs 23, we need to heed to what the scripture is telling us about riches and these things. And, and, and this is the word of God. And so it's saying in there. This is the Amplified Version. Do not weary yourself with overwhelming desire to gain wealth. <laughs> you get weary. Cease from your own understanding. When you set your eyes on wealth, it is suddenly gone. For wealth certainly makes itself wings like an eagle that flies to the heavens. Amen. In other words, um, no sooner than you get it, it can be gone. Mm -hmm. um, and all those buckets you thought were filled be empty. I don't know if you remember the story in the New Testament about the man who was wealthy. He said, I'm going to build barns and I'll store all my graves in there and I'm going to eat, drink, and be merry. But uh, the Bible declares that calls him a fool. Mm -hmm. And so since the word of God is eternal, he's an eternal fool. <laughs> Thou fool, your soul is required of you this night. <laughs> we were talking earlier. <laughs> we were talking earlier about some stuff and I don't know why this came to my mind. This little joke talks about uh, this guy asked this prayer warrior. He said, is, not, is there a golf course in heaven? Because he loved to play golf. The guy said, I don't know. I'll pray about it and talk to you tomorrow. So he came back the next day. He said, the good news is there's a golf course in heaven. The bad news is you're, you'll be teeing off at noon. So, hey amen. That, uh, you, you schedule the tea off at noon. So you don't know. You spend all your time trying to gain wealth, all your energy, all your focus, and not on God. You've made a mistake. Uh, a, an eternal mistake. And let's look at 1 Timothy 6 and 17. Let's see what Timothy has. Again, I'm using this um, amplified version. I can use other versions. But, um, 
This will get us in the ballpark. First Timothy chapter 6, verse 17. As for the rich in this present world, instruct them not to be conceited and arrogant, nor set their hope on the uncertain on the uncertainty, on the uncertainty, on the uncertainty of riches, but on God. Who richly and ceaselessly provides uh, for uh, uh, provides us with everything for mm -hmm. our enjoyment. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. You know, when you think about how rich God is, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bible always reminds the children of Israel to don't forget the God who brought you out of Egypt. Don't forget the God who took care of you, fed you bread from heaven, quail mm -hmm. for your life. Brought all those things, water from a rock. God provided. God provided. You even said Jehovah Jireh, my provider. He fought your battles and still is able to do those things. God and God will fight your battles. Yes, he does. We always have a song to be still. God will fight your battles. Be still, God will fight your battles. Be still, God will fight your battles. God will fight your battles if you just be still. Thank you. <laughs> you don't have to fight no more. We don't have to study war no more. We don't have to put our, listen, along with oh, a lot of times with wealth and riches is greed. In other words, this insatiable appetite of wanting more, not knowing when enough is enough. Well, I got to get more. And not sharing, just focusing on riches and wealth. And uh, flash, in one flash, and all we go. Mm -hmm. That's right. Throughout wars, I remember. Uh, I wonder how many people had very um, lucrative businesses, and in the flash of one bomb, it was all. Mm -hmm. uh, and they forgot the most important thing in life is relationship with God. And relationship with others. That's the well. That's the real. And so um, now let's go on because there's still more in verse five. Uh, now, we're going to look at this. Verse five here. Mm -hmm. There's a wealth of knowledge. Look at it, just being a race. Boom, just like that. Boom. Boom. Where's it at? We moved on. All right. Let's look and see. Verse 5 says, and a report. Concerning Egypt, so they be sorely pained at the report of Tyre. Mm. Now, there is, look at this, we have to watch these things closely. There are, um, Listen, there are 
Um, so, there are international ramifications of the conquest, conquest, and downfall of time. Amen. International. The report had um, so The report of the down of times Okay, so we see this report reaches Egypt. Now, um, the and it causes a lot of anguish to Egypt. We talked about it before. We talked about that Nile River. And the grain industry, where Egypt was dependent on uh, the transportation of grain into Tyre and, and, and being distributed internationally. That's the influence. Uh, so, Egypt. So they shall be sorely pained, is what the scriptures say. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anguish. Um, shocked and dismayed. Amen. Uh, when they learn Tyre has been destroyed. Um, let's see. Um, let's take a company like Walmart. <laughs> If Walmart folded, how many people would be affected? Mm -hmm. If one day all the doors had to be closed in a day or two, in a week, how many people would be affected? How many companies would be affected? How many products would be affected? It would affect, it would have a, a and that's what we're talking about, that type of influence where one industry point Cause uh, had such an influence that it affected internationally yeah. Egypt's grain industry. It's not a pain uh, over. Mm. Yeah, 
the report of the downfall of Tyre reaches uh, Egypt. And now, Egypt is in shock. Egypt is in shock. How can such a great, strong, and mighty uh, 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 influence like Tyre fall? Our markets were doing so good. Our grain was reaching the world. Through the ships. And now, man, what do we do with all this grain? Uh, <laughs> so let's look at uh, verse 6. Pass ye over to Tarshish, how ye inhabitants of the owl. Now, in verse 6, now look at who else is there. Tarshish. Um, which is uh, which is along the way. Um, so, uh, which is along the way, leaves Leaves the nation mourning. Um, the uh, loss of fire and their. Wow. So Tarsus, which is along the way, leaves the nations mourning the loss of Tyre and their own consequent loss. You know, I'm sure there were other countries that have been toppled. Let nobody say a word. <laughs> you know, then and then though the time has is a different time. We're in a different time, but times have not changed. There are still people who we don't even hear about or care about the suffering that they're going through because it doesn't. Uh, uh, it doesn't have any consequence to us per se. How many other countries are suffering right now that we can help? How many other places? I'll tell you right now. And, and, and I'm not saying this is going to happen, but you think about it. What if America failed in a week? 
This whole world would be devastated. Mm -hmm. The world power. That's, I'm telling you, it's the same level here and the influence here mm -hmm. in that region as, as America has. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there are other countries, China. China fell, there'd be a whole devastation around mm -hmm. different parts of the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm equating that to getting us to understand that the time historically is different, but times have not changed. World War II, Germany, world power, about to take over the world. Fail. How long did it take to grow to that level of power? And then once they grew, they were almost unstoppable. But they got stopped. How many? Other countries were affected because of Germany's downfall. You could say Germany, but Germany had an influence all around there. I mean, look at how many companies had to provide uh, 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 parts for their war machines and and and, and for their uh, uh, places they were building before their fall. So I'm just saying these the downfall of a major international influencer affects all kinds of other people, either directly or indirectly. But the main thing <laughs> was, was somebody like that fall. They always worried about their own consequent loss. Mm -hmm. Man, what about me? What are we gonna do now? Right. So, um, trust in God and Him alone. Mm -hmm. See, trust in God. You don't have to deal with uh, the shock. You know that uh, in this world, you stand on shaky ground anyway. Yes. Yes. Nothing permanent, mm -hmm. and this ain't paradise. I think sometimes we try to make this world paradise, and it's just not. Yeah. I've seen some beautiful places, beautiful lawns, and this, that, and that. You let those lawns go for a month. <laughs> <laughs> Weeds will start coming around. You know, birds will be in places where they weren't and just do their thing, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and if it's it, it, a month and a year, that place will be completely. Undone because we're in a fallen world, mm -hmm. and so uh, in this seventh verse, a question is asked Is this your joyous city whose antiquity? <coughs> is of ancient days her own feet shall carry her afar off to so soldier mm. interesting question very interesting question Um, so, so they can't, we talked about they can't comprehend 
Um, they're astonished. And they're wondering, they can't, they cannot understand um, how such a thing uh, could happen. Um, uh, and you have to understand that the this it says in your jubilant city, um, joyous city, um, pleasant home, ancient of antiquity. So you have to know that Tyre uh, was Approximately two thousand years old. That's a long time. Approximately two thousand years old. <clears throat> Always known for being filled with joy. The city was known. As I said, in this your joyous city, they were known for being filled with joy and boy parties and having a good time. It was like, you going to tire this weekend? Yeah, yeah, man, I'm going. <laughs> hey, tired. <laughs> Doctor, go to tire. Can I go with you? Yeah, we got room in the, in the uh, cart or whatever, in the wagon. <laughs> we got wagon room, buddy. Joyous. Now, <laughs> this joyous city, once joyous, whose antiquity is of ancient, ancient days, a lot of uh, whose uh, feet <laughs> um, um, what it, what it really said is that they are firmly established with a long history of financial prosperity. And this 2,000 years, is they were firmly established with a uh, long history of financial prosperity. Oh, yeah, we, you know, we don't have to worry about that. I am a, I am a securely invested. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. There's been a couple of stock market crashes. Mm -hmm. yeah. One, the latest one that we had. A few years ago, people were committing suicide. Yeah. I'm like, no, I ain't that serious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> them steak and lobsters have to go back to, to beans and <laughs> cornbread. <laughs> you know? <Yum>. Amen. <laughs> Better for you anyway. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Them thick hamburgers that you love with the uh, what they call that meat from Japan now. They got cows, special cows with uh, 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 that they make with special type of lean meat from cows. And it costs a lot more. Very expensive uh, hamburger meat. Okay. <laughs> hamburger meat. Okay, anyway. <laughs> 
after enjoying those for years, you got to go back <laughs> to a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Broke. Broke. Listen, I'm going to write this down. Yeah. This is a quote. You may be broke, <laughs> but not broken. Amen. Don't forget that. You may be broke, but you're not broken. As long as you put the Lord first, you may be broke, but you're not broken. Amen. We have to go through things sometimes just to be able to test our faith. Mm -hmm. When your faith is on trial. Yeah. It says in there, um, your own feet. Uh, your feet used to carry her long and great financial places, distances. Now, is going to carry her far off the sojourn. In other words, um, you're now uh, and, and one of the reasons they say this is because they had great wealth these people were colonizers. They were growing. Uh, and they established colonies yeah. along the way. We used to carry her feet to colonize great distances and uh, 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 and far off places. Now. You know, with the ships trading, successful wealth and the successful colonizing enterprise around the Mediterranean, joyous, happy days. And then this other question in verse eight. So, <laughs> this, is, this is a good one here. Um, it says, who have taken this council against Tyre, the crowning city? whose merchants are pri princes and whose traffickers are the honorable of the earth. Mm. This once great nation who founded Tyre, who founded um, And and uh, and crowned kings. This great nation who 
um, had mm, was a kingmaker of different areas. So you know, if you want crowning the king, uh, you in charge. Whose uh, merchants are traders? Says who merchants? Uh, the are princes whose traders are honorable on the earth. So you have these princes now who are um, merchants and the traders were respected all over the world. In other words, you really didn't want to uh, mess with them. Mm. They set the price. They set the standard. And since they made the colonies of Holland and had such strong influence around the Mediterranean area, they had that kind of uh, presence. But they said, who had taken counsel? Who planned? Who was the strategist against Tyre? The Crowning city, crown city, who crowned kings and founded colonies and, and had traders and merchants uh, for their purpose. Who? <laughs> ah, verse nine answers that. That's why I like that question. Who uh, has this plan? What is it? Who founded the colonies and kings? Who planned against them? Okay. That's the question. They were so powerful. How could anybody? I mean, win that battle. Mm. Verse 9 answers that question. Isaiah doesn't leave it. He says, The Lord of hope hath purposed it. Mm -hmm. to stain the pride of all glory and to bring into contempt all the honorable of the earth. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. So, who did it? Okay. It, it oh. was a strategy from the Lord of God planned it. <laughs> let me say, let me say this. There is no higher uh, planner. Than God. There's no higher planner than God. <laughs> uh, let me say this. There is no stopping. Of God's 
There's no higher planner. There's no stopping. Uh, he's the one who it says to stain the pride of all glory, uh, to defile the pride of all personal glory. Not glorifying God, glorifying self. Yeah. Amen. And you got because what did he throw in there? He said to stain the pride. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at me. Look at what I've done. I was talking to someone today, and they said, I didn't realize they went on a trek, a civil rights trek down through the south and through Tennessee and Mississippi and this Alabama. But she said, I didn't realize that all the great voices that we hear from the black folk in America come out of the churches. Hello. <laughs> And I'm like, jackpot. <laughs> <laughs> but really, um, they should have stayed mm -hmm. with church. Because when you get, I know, I know it's enticing the wealth, the, the fame, the poor, and you get caught up in places you've never been before and trickery. Is a part of that, and you get caught up. Pride. Look at me. Look at what I do. And so he said he's doing it to desecrate all pride and to dishonor all the glory of the honored of the earth. <laughs> honored of the Earth. <laughs> you want to be? Are you ready to go? Oh. <laughs> Revelation. Okay. Uh, I'll leave you with this. Thank you, Lord. In Revelation chapter five, verse Begin in verse 12. Revelation chapter 5, beginning in verse 12. Saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing and every creature which is in heaven and on earth and under the earth and such as are in the sea and all that there, and all that are in them, heard I saying, Blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb forever and ever. It's not yours, it's God's. Thank you, Jesus. All honor belongs to God. All praise belongs to God. All glory belongs to God. You're here because of God's grace and mercy. He gave you mm -hmm. the life that you have right now. Thank you. Don't take it for granted. Thank I know there's some people who go through things, right? There's all kinds of things going on. I was in a meeting earlier, and they were talking about depression and, and suicidalness. And, and I'm saying these are people who don't recognize, you know, they might have some things going on in the inside, but somehow they don't recognize the gift that God has given them in life itself. And sometimes it takes you to the brink of that point to realize that, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
I, my life is worth more than taking. Mm -hmm. And you have to know your life is worth more than taking. Your life, you might be going through some things, but go through them. Mm -hmm. But let your faith be exercised. And when you're in there, sing that song, glory, honor, riches, power. <laughs> All that belongs to God. <laughs> Amen. Forever and ever. It just didn't uh, 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 power forever and ever. Forever and ever, past, present, future. Pride can cause you to fall. Yeah. It can cause tired to fall. And all the people who are tied into that pride fail. Let's pray. Father, we thank you today for allowing us to get through as much as we've gotten through. And we just ask, oh God, to continue to reveal to us those areas in our life, Lord, where we uh, need to be able to magnify and glorify you more. Mm. We thank you for loving us, God, unconditionally and, and giving us life and a full and meaningful life and eternal life. You've given us all of those. We didn't give it to ourselves. You gave it to us. Help us to God glorify you more and better in our own lives that you might be uh, king of kings and lord of lords in our lives and that we'll be able to sing the song that riches and power, glory, and honor, and wisdom all belong to the Lamb who sits on the throne. Thank you, Jesus. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank God. God bless you. And God keep you. Don't forget this Sunday, Father's Day. Come on out. Take your father to church. Amen. God bless you.